IBM Bean break the first record. A bone to kick. Bean could hardly wait for the end of the day. Finally, Mrs. Appetite said, Put up your chairs, boys and girls. Just like she always did, Bean and Ivy put up their chairs, one one, and hurried out of the classroom. Wait, you guys! Leo ran down the breezeway and stood in front of them. They waited. Did you really? he asked. What? said Ivy in a happy voice. Find dinosaur bones? Yeah. At them with narrow eyes. Look at them with narrow eyes. Bean's face got hot. Leo was their friend, and friends believe you. He shouldn't think they were lying. It made her mad. We did, she yelled, and we have proof. Anyone who doesn't believe us can come over and see. Four o'clock today, my house, dinosaur. She got dinosaurs. She got that little. Bring everyone you know. Bring your stupid soccer team. I don't care. See said Leo, lighten them. Excuse me, said Ivy, still in a happy voice. We have a work, we have work to do. She pulled Bean by the arm. A skinny first grader plucked at Bean's shirt when she reached the stairs. I heard you find dinosaur bones, he said. Yes, we did, said Bean in a loud voice. We found dinosaur bones. He looked at her nervously. Can I see them? Oh, Bean had been ready for a fight. She tried to make her face into a smile as she told the kid where she lived. Come by later this afternoon, she said. Okay, he smiled. Can I bring my mom? Bring anybody you want. As they walked home, Ivy said, Nobody believed Mary Anning either. They thought that the bones were just weird rocks. They told her to stop wasting her time. But in the end, she was right. Who cares what other people think? Being stopped over a crack in the sidewalk. I do. I want people to know I'm right. Especially when well, I really am right. I be stuck for a moment. But you're still right. Even if they can think so. I guess been sad. I just feel Better if other people think I'm right too. Hardly anybody ever thinks I'm right, said Ivy. Bean nodded. That was true. A lot of people didn't understand Ivy's ideas. She had had plenty of practice at not being believed. That's probably why she didn't get as mad about it as Bean did. She just went ahead with her ideas. Anyway, you can do whatever you think, Ben realized. But you have to do it alone a lot of the time. They climbed up the stairs to Ben's front porch. We need a good snack, said Ben. We have lots of digging to do. A great eat beast snack, agreed Ivy. What do you have? Tray mix, said Ben. The kind of chocolate chips. Cool. We can eat it while we dig. We should be kind of quiet, Ben added. I think my dad is still a little grumpy from yesterday. 
but he wasn't. He was standing in front of hole with a big smile on his face. Hi, girls, he called out. How was school? Learn anything good? Was two plus two eight? Ben giggled. Sometimes her dad was a good boy. Good boy. Four, she said. Wrong again, she, he slapped his head. You want snack? I made banana bread. You did? How come? asked Ben. Because I make red, great banana bread. Duh, he said, bustling towards the kitchen. He was awfully cheerful. Ben put her hands on her hips. What's going on around here, Dad? Why are you so happy? He stopped bustling towards the kitchen. I'm glad to see you, he said. Ben looked at him. I am, he said. It's quiet around here today. Mom says it's peaceful while we're gone, said Ben. I don't like peaceful. I was lonely, he, her dad admitted. Ben laughed. Hey, you're just like me. Her dad had been so lonely that her that he had made three loaves of banana bread. He cut two thick slices and poured two glass of milk and brought them to the kitchen table. Then he sat down to watch Ben and Ivy eat. What do you guys do? Up to this afternoon, he asked. The girls exchanged glances. It's a secret, said Ben slowly. It's a secret. <laughs> If she told him, he might want to help. And that would ruin the youngest paleontologist's record. He was old. By the end of the afternoon, you know. The end of the afternoon, he looked disappointed. Oh, Ivy felt sorry for him. Thanks for the banana bread, she said. It was delicious. You're welcome. He picked up the newspaper. See you later, said Ben, getting up. She stopped and turned back to the table. There might be some kids coming up later," he said. "Just in the yard." He was he was reading. "Kids, great," he said.